On now to the game of the season, as the third round of the FA Cup gave Northampton a chance to make headlines by pairing the Cobbers with 1st Division Coventry City, who had themselves suffered mixed fortunes in the competition. Pete, what's the feeling then in the Cobbers dressing room? Oh, everyone's looking forward to the game, I think, you know, pressure's off the league and that, so hopefully we get a good result. Cyril, what's the feeling like uh, in the Coventry dressing room before the match? Well, I mean, uh, we're treating it as a, obviously a very important game. Uh, we, we're reflecting on what happened last year and obviously we don't want it happen this year. It's, it's not a good draw really for a club like yourself, is it? Away to a third division side. You're on hard into nothing really, aren't you? Yes, we are, but uh, uh, I think we're a professional outfit. We've got to attack it in, a, in the right manner. And if we do that, I'm sure uh, our skill will, will tell on the day. Are there any Coventry players you're going to keep a special eye out for today? No, no. They'll all be there to be shot down and we'll be doing our best to do it. Do you feel there's any pressure on the Cobblers whatsoever? None at all. Let's just get out there and do the business. That's all it's all the Cup's about. So it's a one-off situation and let's hope we can get the right result today. John, what have you been telling the lads uh, throughout the week before today's game? Well, the big thing we've got to do is to come out here and expect a very, very hard game. So you've got to be physically prepared, which is, you know, mental and physical, there's a little bit of difference in it, you know. I feel we need a hardening of our tackling, hardening of our discipline and basically watch your set pieces, be aware on set pieces. Please for you. Find Barnes. Pete did well, but Barnes is there, giving him a lot of problems. And that's a back back pass. Barnes is in. Barnes at the post. Oh dear me! Desperately unlucky then. It was an awful back pass. Bobby Barnes was so quick, and he hit the post. Bobby Barnes. Patch, but so important now the cobblers hang on to this one goal lead for the last couple of minutes.
You know the, the lads have battled really well today. I was proud of proud of them all. Uh, you know we've had the cup run, and um, it's helped with our confidence in the league as well. And uh, we've prepared well for them. I think, I th honestly, obviously everybody knows I'm biased, but I think at the end of the day it was a well-deserved victory, wasn't it? We, it there didn't look a goal well, from two I, divisions. I did. I've been more nervous watching uh, a third division side put us under. Put us under pressure. I was quite relaxed when they um, when they came on us a little bit, you know. And they're a first division side, and they're entitled to have a little bit of the game here, you know. But I thought we've defended very well. What did you think when Bobby Barnes hit the post early on? Did you think perhaps it wasn't going to well, be the cobbler's day? Well, sometimes you think that it's, it's never going to be a day, um, you know, because you get so many chances against the first division. But I thought we broke very quickly today. I thought we got the ball up early. People have been a little bit critical of us getting the ball up in the past, but they, but they say that when you lose confidence in the side, and they say, ah, get the ball, you know, you get it on the bottom and play. But for the conditions today, I thought we've played the right way, and we've caused some problems. Steve, can you talk us through the ball? Uh, just uh, the, the ball broke down the left, Bobby got on it, and we always know that Bobby's... Uh, Going to get round his man and cross it. So I just made a run to the near post and luckily beat the goalkeeper and the defender to it and just got a slight nick and it went behind them. Macca, it was uh, quite a match, wasn't it? Well, exciting. I think the crowd must have enjoyed it. I think the good thing about today was like, I think the lads just went out to enjoy it. And uh, I think the result, you know, that's rebounds off, you know, all this week. Like the lads are just, the pressure hasn't been on us. I like, like the last two rounds, like, and I think the lads just got out today and just enjoyed it, and the result speaks for itself, really. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was brilliant. Brilliant, yeah. What was the atmosphere like? Because we don't, of course, feel it up fantastic in our centrally down, heated. Yeah. Different views, fantastic atmosphere, yeah. Great support all through, I thought. Yeah. You could hear them down this end, they, they sounded fairly good, but I mean, they would have brought the house down if a second goal had gone in. Is there something more you could have done? Do you think? What are you saying? I'm not good enough. I'm not saying you're not good, good enough at all. Is there? Do you think there's anything more that anybody could? Have done? Or is there? Is there no, mentally you, some problem? No, no you, you people understand one thing: that we work our duck off to try and get everything right. We don't leave a stone unturned. I haven't left a stone unturned, and I think that's a very new question for a BBC man to put to a man that has just been beat one 0 been a little bit low, sir, if you don't mind. Sure. And to ask me if you thought I could have done more, I would say you can do a lot more to become a better interviewer if you're going to put questions like that. Well, let me ask you. I don't think that's a fair question to put to somebody that has just been beat 1 0 for the second time. Sir. I think it's a very ignorant question. Well, sir, if I may have the sir. decency to leave you now on that. Okay. Bob, by your own standards, it's a goal famine now, isn't it? Two games without a goal, but I'm sure you don't mind the way the team's going. Uh, obviously, pleased with the results. Uh, a little bit disappointed not to score myself today, but. Having said that, you can't ask for too much in a day and to beat a first division club and go into the next round, well, that's good enough really, I think.